Well, after a call for closure of three campuses in the Vermont State College's system, the Board of Trustees was expected to vote on the idea tomorrow afternoon. Now that vote is going to take place a week from tomorrow, April 27th. More tonight from Local 22's Nick Anastasi. On Friday, Vermont State College's Chancellor Jeb Spaulding recommended the closure of NVU Linden, NVU Johnson, and the Randolph Center campus of Vermont Technical College. As difficult as the decision is, and recognize fully the devastation that we are placing on many Vermonters in, in different regions of the state, that this is about uh, ensuring our ability to continue to provide post-secondary education to Vermonters around the state. Not only do these schools get people into our communities spending money, Sarah Lafferty, president of the Linden Area Chamber of Commerce, says this move could be crippling in more ways than one. But I worry about my neighbors. You know, their, their businesses are already hurting because of this pandemic. We're already facing really scary times. We depend on students from NVU for our workforce, for our volunteer force. I know all the boards that I sit on, I sit next to people who are in our community because of NVU. And many businesses in the area heavily rely on the colleges for revenue. Our utilities are locally owned, our electric department and our water department. And they get a lot of their money from the expense of the utilities from the college. And so that loss will cripple our local utilities. Um, I have major concerns about how that would change with the loss of MBU. When you look at the, uh, the benefits of these campuses to their local areas, it's completely absurd that they should be shut down. It totally makes sense to keep on working to improve them and maybe make them even more efficient. That, that's possible. In a news conference Sunday afternoon, Lieutenant Governor David Zuckerman called on Governor Scott to create a task force to further examine into the issue while the Board of Trustees is on pause. Nick Anastasi, Local 22 News. And for his part, Governor Phil Scott has tweeted about the possible closures, saying, quote, there's a far better, more positive path forward, including for the communities that rely on state college campuses to sustain their local economies if we are creative and committed to the hard work ahead.